Hey there guys and welcome back to Tech Easily. So it's the start of a new series here on my channel where I'm going to be teaching you guys all about Python. Firstly, like I always do, I'm going to go over some basics of Python, get that out of the way before we go into the deeper stuff in my upcoming videos. So Python is a really powerful language, you guys. And it's actually really interesting as well. So if you guys are interested in learning all about Python, what it is, um, what it can be used for, and some of the advantages of choosing this particular programming language, then please keep on watching. So in this video, you guys, I'll be going through a presentation I just made just to cover all of the basics before we dive into the deeper and more complicated stuff. So if you've ever wondered why Python is so powerful and one of the fastest growing programming languages out there, it's because if you compare it to other languages such as C or Java or even C++, it's because it's a really easy language to learn. And I'll be going through that in more detail in this slide as well. And some famous websites, including Reddit, are actually written in Python. So what actually is Python? Python is an interpreted high-level programming language, and it's also object-oriented as well. So if you're wondering what a high-level programming language is, it's basically designed to make computer programming easier. So Python was first released in 1991 and it was created to be readable. So that means that even if you come from a non-technical background or field, this is probably the easiest language you can learn in order to start coding. So it also makes use of new lines for a command to be completed. And if we take this and compare it to other programming languages, Again, this is different where um, usually they would use something like a semicolon or parentheses. Another really important point to note, you guys, is that Python depends on indentation. So basically, it uses white spaces to set scope. So for example, for your loops, for your functions and classes. Again, if we were to compare this to other programming languages, they would probably use something like a curly bracket for this task. So the next thing we're going to be looking at, you guys, is what is Python actually used for? Now, I'm going to go through this really, really quickly because there are some other things that I want to go through in more detail. So basically, Python can be used for machine learning, which is basically just the study of computer algorithms. It can be used for web development, so the server side, which is basically just using scripts on a web server. It can be used for mathematics. It can be used for statistics and statistical analysis, as well as data and data analysis as well. And it can also be used for software development. So now that we know some of the things that Python is used for, there's many others, but just to start off with, they, and this should be enough, let's actually look into the different versions of Python. So as you guys can see, the first one actually came in the beginning of the year in 1994, version 1.0. Um, second version came about in October 2000, and then the third or the latest one actually came in December 2008. Although it does go without saying for any programming language that you should be using the latest versions, um, version 2.0 is no longer supported as of beginning of this year. And actually, it's a good thing because the difference between the second and the third versions was huge. Usually in programming languages, they are compatible with their previous versions, but this didn't apply to Python. There was too big, a dif uh, too big of a difference between the two. So now you guys that we have looked into what versions of Python are currently being used and what ones are no longer supported, let's go into the last thing I'm going to be going through in this video before we end it. So let's look into the advantages of using Python. So basically, why should you invest your time into learning Python when you have 
hundreds of other programming languages to choose from. So before I go through all the points on this slide, one of the biggest advantages of using Python is it's really convenient. So it works on many different platforms. So basically you can use it on Windows, Mac, Linux, Raspberry Pi, which is great because it gives you great flexibility. No matter what platform you're on, you can actually code in Python. It's also really easy to use because of its simplistic syntax. So once you can get your head around indentation and the white spaces, it's actually not a hard language to learn at all. So the next point, Python syntax lets developers write programs to reduce the quantity of code. And this is in comparison to if you use a different programming language. And it's actually really, really powerful as well. I don't know if you guys have read about this, but basically a few lines of code in Python can actually replace the work of lots of people. So it's actually really, really powerful. And so the last point we have here, um, in the beginning, I mentioned that Python was an interpreted language. And what this basically means is that as soon as the code is written, it gets executed. And this basically gives you guys so much flexibility and it makes life so much easier when it comes to debugging as well. And it also allows for dynamic scoping and typing. And dynam dynamic typing is when the Python interpreter does type checking only as the code runs and the type of variable is allowed to change over its lifetime. So these are some of the advantages of using Python. There's many others, but just to begin it, for the basics, this should be good. So that's it for today's video, you guys. I really hope that you guys are excited for this series and that I was able to help answer some of your questions on what Python actually is, what it can be used for, the different versions and some of the advantages of Python. So in my upcoming videos, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install it onto your machines and going through a lot more stuff about Python. So it should be really, really interesting until we code again. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And please feel free to leave any questions or recommendations that you guys may have in the comment section down below and I will get to them as quickly as I can and I will see you guys in my next video.